Hey, it's Angela here. Welcome to The Girls Who Weigh It, the Geek Girl YouTube show about Doctor Who and more. I'm here at RavenCon with this lovely lady, and I'm going to let her introduce herself. <laughs> Hi, I'm Gail C. Martin. I write the Chronicles of the Necromancer series for Solaris Books, the Ascended Kingdom Saga for Orbit Books. The new book out is Reign of Ash in the Ascended Kingdom Saga, and coming this summer is Deadly Curiosity is my first urban fantasy series. So we are here at RavenCon in Richmond, Virginia. So what have you gotten to do this weekend at the convention? <laughs> Mostly be on panels, which is honestly why I come. I, I love to be on panels. I love to talk about fandom. I love to hang out with readers. And I was a fan before I was a pro. So this is, this is home territory to me. Great. Now, our show <laughs> is about geek girls and fandom. So I know you are a Doctor Who fan. So who is your favorite doctor? Well, I came kind of late to the party because uh, growing up we didn't get the channels that you could get Doctor Who on, so I really didn't get to, to watch a lot of the early stuff. So I'm really new to the party with um, Matt Smith was my first Doctor, and we didn't know any better. We started watching it on, on Netflix and we watched the episodes in reverse order, <laughs> which it has its own kind of logic to it, and then we turned around and watched them from Eccleston forward and they made so much more sense. But <laughs> It actually kind of worked. So um, I would say that Matt Smith was my first doctor, and I love him to pieces, but it's really close with Tennant. You know, Tennant just kind of gets your heart. So going from your first doctor, who is your favorite doctor? That's really tough because I loved uh, Matt Smith and, and Amy so much, that whole interaction. But it's you know, hard not to love Tennant and Rose and that, um, that dynamic. And I've got to admit, I, I didn't care for Rose at first because she way. seemed so stupid, you know, the character. Yeah. But then as she got more confident and more savvy and she started to kind of take ownership more for her own um, safety and, and kind of get clued into everything, she really blossomed and I, I really, you know, came to like the character a great deal. Awesome. Okay, now what is your favorite story or your favorite episode? Oh, you know, there's so many really good ones. Um, and I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not as, as conversant to know all the episode titles, so yeah. I'm going to be the person who says, the one with, <laughs> forgive me, um, I really thought that the one with the doppelgangers of the the white flesh, the, mm -hmm. the undying flesh or something yeah. like that, was creepy good. That was just so Sweet. good and, and so poignant and, and that one was, was really good. Um, I had to rewatch that one just so I could see the difference in the bow ties and the shoes just because when, at the end you're like, oh, I didn't catch that. Yeah, and, and that's, that's one of the fun things with the show is when you can go back and get that level of detail that they cared enough to put in. That's really cool. Yeah. Um, you know, Tennant's final episode, that's a tearjerker. Yeah. Uh, that look he always gives for anything. Yeah, just him going around and, and visiting everybody one last time. Oh my gosh, if you weren't going to cry, that one, that one yeah. would do it. And of course, uh, Amy and Rory's last episode. Um, and anything with Weeping Angels. Yeah, I'm a Weeping Angels fan too. Yeah, if I, had, if I had to pick my favorite, you know, who villain, it would be the Weeping Angels. I agree. So, it's it's, scary Weeping Angels. I love, love the, the original first blink. That yes, was just I was going to say, so yeah. so scary, but then, like, I still love the later episodes, too. I just, the, the whole horror but aspect the, the of the blink, blink episode would be one of my favorites, yeah. absolutely. So, okay, well, any other thing you want to add with Doctor Who, or? You know, I'm really looking forward to getting to watch some of the older episodes. I've watched some of the retrospectives that they did on BBC America mm -hmm. leading up to the 50th. And it does help me understand certainly a lot of the in-jokes at the con. Uh, and also appreciate that whole history and how much has gone into it. You have to get past the special effects and the zippers yeah. up the back of the Cybermen, you know. But um, there's still something very compelling, even with the awful special effects that make you keep watching. And so I'm, I'm enjoying getting to know more uh, about the series. Are you excited for Peter Capaldi as the new Doctor? Oh boy, you know, I'm sure I'll like him when we get there. Mm -hmm. um, I saw him first in the Torchwood episode yeah. with uh, where he was not the good Bird. guy. And he was so good at being so bad. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going to have to forgive him for that. Well, he played a convincing good guy, though, in the Pompeii episode. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Um, 
So I'm sure I can forgive him for that. Mm -hmm. It's just going to take a while to warm up yeah. to him. Yeah, he looks like he could be a villain or a good guy pretty easy, depending on the way his brow looks. Well, and it's just <laughs> going to be interesting to see where they take the Doctor's personality with yeah. him and how he interprets it. Um, so it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, I'm, I'm certainly willing to give him a shot. Okay, and I'm going to let you plug yourself. Where can people okay. find you online? Well, you can find my books in bookstores everywhere and certainly um, Amazon and, and other online uh, online booksellers. But you can find me at AscendantKingdoms.com. I'm on Twitter at Gail Z. Martin. I'm on Facebook as The Winter Kingdoms. Most of the time, if you look for some variation of Gail Z. Martin or GZ Martin, you'll find me. So please do. I'd love to continue the conversation. Thank you so much for being on our show. Well, thank you. And thank you guys for watching. This is The Girls Who Wait It. Bye.